Welcome to Great Books for Thinkers and Seekers. Today's book opens with, This book does not claim to be an account of facts and events, but of personal experiences, experiences which millions of prisoners have suffered time and again. It is the inside story of a concentration camp told by one of its survivors. This tale is not concerned with the great horrors which have already been described often enough, though less often believed, but with the multitude of small torments. In other words, it will try to answer this question. How was everyday life in a concentration camp reflected in the mind of the average prisoner. This two-part book was published in 1946 by an Austrian survivor of a Nazi concentration camp during World War II who was also a neurologist, psychiatrist, and philosopher. The book has been listed as one of the 10 most influential books in the U.S. according to a 2012 survey by the Library of Congress. One key observation by the author is that the way a prisoner imagined the future affected their longevity. In addition to analyzing his own experiences, the author goes on to explore the concept of meaning and introduces logotherapy, his concept based on the premise that the primary motivational force of an individual is to find meaning in life. His psychotherapeutic method seeks to find meaning in all forms of existence, even the most sordid ones, and thus a reason to continue living. Here are a few timeless quotations. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. This great book for thinkers and seekers is Victor E. Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. See you next time.